So my last video got kind of cut off abruptly because the video crashed on me. Um, not sure how it happened. Not sure why it happened. I think maybe the phone ran out of RAM or something. I don't know. Probably something technical and I'm probably not going to figure it out anytime soon. I mean, if it becomes a regular problem, I can narrow it down, but I don't want it to become a regular problem, because then that means I have to fix it. <laughs> you know? If it's just something that happens like once or twice, I don't have to fix it. Because uh, it was just some weird corner case incident where it's probably not going to happen again. But if it does happen again and it keeps happening, then yeah, that means something's not working right and that means something needs to get fixed. So currently, I am just running around, grabbing my wheat, my various grains, grains. <laughs> um, I do have carrots, uh, freshly harvested, and I have done some work uh, off screen. Those of you who had a keen eye in the video probably already spotted it, because I probably already looked at it. However, I would like to finish harvesting my carrots before I turn around to look at it. Oh, right, and there's this. Okay. It worked this time. Last time I tried that, I ended up eating it for like 10 minutes. Um, so yeah, there's this barrel over there on the island now, and the barrel is specifically for the use of, well, carrots. It's the carrot storage. Um, I put carrots in, and once the carrots are all full in the carrot storage, I plan to swap out all of my carrots for wheat, because I'm going to need so much hay. <laughs> And I already swapped out the watermelons for pumpkins because I already have a full stack of watermelons. So I don't really need more watermelons because I already have a full stack. Um, I also have a full stack of seeds now. I do need more pumpkin seeds, but that can be worked on. That can be arranged. Um, I can fix that right now, actually. Do, 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 do I have enough for this? I do have enough for this. And the excess can go in the compost. Because that's what composters are for. Um, I did make some more maps. I haven't generated them yet, however, uh, I plan to ask my friends if they want to play Minecraft with me. Um, it's, it's Bedrock Edition of Minecraft, Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Um, however, I do know some of them are capable of playing, it's just whether or not they want to play. Uh, I did build this. I uh, got a little bed here. Got some indoor lighting. Um, yeah. Basic stuff. I also went ahead 
and I finished building this mine down here. Now if you notice, my Y level over here is slowly going down. That's because I am in fact, well, descending. Because this is, this is forward. Um, so I made it all the way down to bedrock. No lava, amazingly. Um, no diamonds either. I didn't find any diamonds. Uh, so I was like, okay, well, I heard like Y14, Y13, Y15. The Y14 range was a good range to mine at. And so I figured I'd start, you know, a nice little, uh, nice little mining line. And I came across some gravel little bit of iron, a little bit of coal, well, well a lot of coal. <laughs> I've made quite a few blocks of coal now. Um, did I just hear lava? Hmm. Okay, well, um, I suppose I shall pillar up using cobblestone since that's what I've been using. I just didn't think I'd brought so little. Uh, so I marked out the last spot I was at. Hello, iron. And they tell you not to dig straight up. However, I'm standing right on top of a torch. So I think... I think I'm good. Um, because if it's a torch, that the gravel lands on, then the gravel block will just break. Same for sand. Uh, so that's a fun fact if you're a new player. Uh, however, if it lands here, actually I can show you. I can just use this. Because I know where this is going to land. It's going to land right there. So I will stand under it. Also, I managed to get an unbreaking one shovel from <laughs> from a, a, a zombie, I think it was. Yeah, a zombie. Um, so yeah, I have a decent iron shovel now. But yeah, even if it's on a wall, like that, like if I take this gravel block and I put it up here, it lands there, and then because the torch is there, it just breaks. Now if I remove that torch, then the block will fall like normal, and I can actually give this example because I need to dig this out. So yeah, it'll just keep falling, falling, falling. And it keeps doing that every single time. That's normal. That's what defines it as a gravity block, after all. Um, but yeah. I have found a lot of gravel. One, two, three, four. There we go. And then I can just boop. And so yeah, I um I made sure the ceilings were lit, because I don't remember if the ceilings counted as a spawn space for bats. But I didn't plan on finding out, so I'm just lighting it up. It's every four squares. Um, I don't remember the exact lighting power of torches and the exact spawn uh, light levels for monsters. 
And the diffusion rates for diagonal, blah, 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 blah. It's all just a bunch of math, and I don't feel like figuring it out. So I, on the way down, I put torches uh, every other block, one down. So basically, it's the, the night move. You know, two forward, one down, two forward, one down, two forward, one down. Um, I should sleep because if I'm recording, then by YouTube standards, the natural result is that I will probably encounter a creeper and probably blow up. So instead, I think I shall sleep and prevent the creepers from spawning and hopefully find that Enderman from the other day. Wait, was that him? No, but there's a burning skeleton or two. <laughs> Oh, this guy's got an enchanted bow. Heck yeah. Oh, sweet. Okay, he didn't drop anything. And he dropped rotten flesh. Which I found out you cannot put into a composter. Which is sad. Because there's so many farms that would become bone meal farms <laughs> if you could just compost the rotten flesh out. You know, because then you're set for life, you know? Um, so yeah. Let's see what we got here. We got arrows, check, rotten flesh. Yep. I need to find a good room to grow this brown mushroom. Um, I remember it's got to be dark and I remember it's got to be in a cave and potentially near bedrock so probably near that uh, that mining strip would be a good spot for me to put it um, you guys might have noticed I have gold and I have iron now not only that but I have iron buckets I have redstone dust not much but I have some um, I have two pistons, I have four redstone torches, a set of shears, and a flint and steel. Um, I have not gotten very much luck with ore, <laughs> obviously. However, I have been managing to do decently well in my mining explorations and that I was capable of getting iron and gold like this. So I'm actually going to move these over to the main bucket. Um, do I want to move anything else? I think I'm good for now. I could convert all of these bones into bone meal and then turn the bone meal into bone blocks. Um, which is how I got the bone blocks in the first place. I've just been uh, bone mealing carrots. <laughs> and I got like eight bone blocks already. Which is why I'm switching over to hay. Is because hay is something that is not otherwise entirely useless. So I'm going to switch to hay. And get myself some nice... Uh, Ah, uh, yes. My dirt barrel. <laughs> I forgot that's what this was. But yeah, that's my dirt barrel. That's how much dirt I have. As you can see, it's a sizable amount. There's my coarse dirt. I need... Well, technically, I need two things of coal, but I only want one. So I put the coal in the furnace, it starts up. I go over here, craft some hay bales. Uh, let's see, what else? I have a fishing rod now. I figured, you know, I've got all the parts, why not, right? 
Um, right, that's what I was going to do. Gravel is on the left, so that there. What is? Oh, hi. You're kind of invading my home. <laughs> I have an idea. I converted all my birch into sticks. Lovely twigs. Um, I was going to make a door <laughs> to keep this guy from just wandering through my base. Um, do I have anything else that burns other than sticks? I could use the slabs. Okay, you're getting a little annoying. Could you not? Thank you. No, no, stop, stop. Yeah, okay, fine, you can go in there. Enjoy. Oh, of course, of course, it goes straight to my bed. It likes my bed. It's a nice llama. It's cute. Um, I don't have a name tag, so I can't name it. But I think it spawned in with a wandering merchant, so until something hunts it down, it's just going to stay alive. <laughs> <clears throat> Because the Wandering Merchant, he, uh, he didn't make it. I mean, he did something he shouldn't have done. He didn't make it. What more is there to say, right? That's, that's almost every Minecraft death. <laughs> Speaking of, <laughs> I always manage to hurt myself whenever I'm recording. Um, I'm starting to wonder if that's mostly just me not watching where I'm going. Because I've been known to sometimes just not pay attention. Like, I'd be saying something, and then someone would get all offended, and it's like, what did I say wrong? And they're like, how could you? And then they won't tell me, and it's like, well, how could I what? You know? If you don't tell me what I did wrong, how will I know what I did wrong? It's, it's just a big confusing landscape of how and why and where and when eh. that's why I play Minecraft get away from all that you know it's great for just relaxing Yeah. One more wheat seed. There we 
go. So yeah, um, I'm basically just growing carrots and filling up the container. And while I wait, I suppose I can do some fishing. I'll probably like quadruple speed the fishing footage. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to do this properly because um like editing down a one hour video to 30 minutes uh it apparently requires like five gigabytes <laughs> because each video is like a gigabyte in size so it's a gig just to have the video and then it's another gig for like editing the video I guess and then another one for like the completed edit I don't know it's it's weird I don't know how it works all I know is fish <laughs> fishy 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 fishing is a good reaction game. Um, this is why I do most of the fishing off camera. Cool. Got a raw cod. I'll go ahead and put that on the campfire. Do another lap with the, the carrots and the seeds and whatnot. I'll actually put those in my inventory. Um, sure, I'll hold sugar cane. Switch over my seeds. Grab another sugar cane. We get some carrots here. Get some more carrots. Switch over to the seeds, harvest the wheat. Plant the wheat. Every time you harvest, you gotta remember to plant it again, otherwise it's gonna be difficult to harvest it the next time around because you know, while you're sitting there checking on all your other crops, it could be growing. So you gotta remember to, to replant those. Uh, some of these sound like extremely useless tips, uh, useless pieces of advice sometimes. You just gotta be informed of the basics. Like someone has to tell you, right? So I figure I'll say it, you know. Ah, the cod is now cooked. And plant the seeds, pick up the seeds and the wheat. Oh, that one never got replanted. Same for that one. Oh my. Are there any others I forgot to replant? There and there. Oh my. That's all planted, that's all planted. Yeah, that could have gone bad, because... You know, that means the pumpkins could have grown onto those plots. Which would, of course, be bad. Um, speaking of which, let me accelerate the growth of these pumpkins. Because while they're still in the stem form, I can accelerate the growth. I'll, I'll do that later. 
I'm going to convert some of these bones into bone meal while I'm at it. Probably all of them. Matter of fact, just to be sure, I'm going to bring the bone blocks. Yeah, if there is anything I find worthy of uh, bone mealing, it is uh, the stems of the pumpkins and the watermelons, because you can't bone meal them once they're fully grown, but you can bone meal them to the fully grown stage. Where did he come from? Oh, it's nighttime. That's where. Still, where did he come from? <laughs> Why is there a zombie anywhere near my base? Where did he spawn? Did he just spawn, like, out there somewhere and just walk down? Wow. I shouldn't have any phantoms after me. I've been sleeping regularly, so I should be good. Um, where was I? Oh, yes. So, like, you know, these things are great because there's no guesswork. Is it done growing? Well, can you still apply bone meal to it? No. Oh, well, then it must be done growing. All that's left is wait for the pumpkin and or uh, watermelon to grow in an available spot next to the stem. You know. Uh, it can grow on farmland, so if you think just tilling the soil is going to stop it from from growing properly, it won't. I actually had it grow onto the tilled soil just the other day. Uh, just yesterday. I'll get two more. Probably won't need that many, but I'll have them. This time I spotted the cactus <laughs> and avoided the uh, campfire. Nice. Oh, cool. I only needed to convert one bone block into bone meal. So that's good. Uh, I also picked up a cactus chunk, which is also good. I can make more bales of hay. Uh, what else is there? Oh, paper. I can make paper. Cool. something else. That. Is that it? Yes, I think. So yeah, um, that's what I've been up to. I have a stack of carrots. Let me put them away first. Also, did I see a zombie up there? No. Okay. Ooh, I could use some string. Ah. Ooh, that was close. He lunged at me at the end there. But I have managed to safely stave them off. Got some string out of it. And I think I probably want 
to head to bed before I start taking that on. Especially with the creeper involved. I do not want to be dealing with archers and a creeper. So I shall bring out the ultimate weapon. The sunbeam of death, of course. Where does it hit? Everywhere. <laughs> Then all I have to do is worry about the creeper, because during the daytime, the spiders all seem to become pacifist. They're all pacified, and you don't have to worry about them anymore. Um, if an undead has a helmet, however, you should probably worry about that undead, because, like, the helmet protects them from sunlight. Somehow it's some sort of correlation between uh, oh god there's two of them please don't blow up please don't blow up please don't blow up run okay so there seems to be some sort of correlation between them having a helmet and them being uh, immune to sunlight, I've noticed. Probably an intended feature. Because, you know, you don't want to get too comfortable in your own base. At least not unless you've done everything properly. <laughs> Which, if you have, good for you. You know? That's, that's a good thing. But if you haven't, you're going to find out real fast that that's a bad thing, and why. <laughs> um, right, I forgot. I still need the bones to actually tame wolves. So I didn't want to convert those into bone meal earlier. Oh well. It already happened. Wow, I'm up to 19 arrows. Eight pieces of gunpowder. I'm doing pretty well. Uh, considering I barely found any iron. <laughs> so now... I think... Uh, I think I will call the episode here. And I will record more when I have more footage. So remember to like, comment, subscribe. Um, and hopefully I'll hear back from my friends. I don't know if they'll join me. They probably won't because they have very busy schedules. But you never know. I mean, they might. Um, I have been pestering them about it. So, I think I'll get back to this mine shaft here. Uh, this this little this little mining line, uh, and I shall. Maybe work on just making more torches. I might go clear more of that forest uh, for an episode or two. Oh, there's that lake I was clearing out. Let me actually go harvest this lake. I guess it's more of a pond, really, but... You know, I should really grab more of this sand because I kind of need it, you know. Like, one of the things that I need right Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome back. And, uh, yeah. So, here we are. Um, I don't remember how much of this I've shown you. I remember... 
Uh, the last time I was on the video, I mentioned I was going to clear out the uh, pond up here, which um, was where the video cut out on me, as you will undoubtedly have seen by this point. Um, at least hopefully. I'm assuming the videos uh, joined together properly. Um, so, as you can see, I have gone ahead and nicely cleared out this lake. It's all nice and clear and blue. And it's got a nice, nice little layer of protection around it. I made sure that uh, all of the water was almost all of the water was uh, you know stationary um, I can actually fix that one over there right now if I want I think I should it's a simple fix I just gotta grab a bucket I believe I keep them in here. I only need one. I'm of course going to borrow some water from this lake. Or pond, puddle, whatever it is. I borrow some water from it. And then this one can go Oops. now it shouldn't have that downward draft issue. Um, as for food, I'm currently surviving on carrots. I have eaten the other types of food that I had prepared. That is clearly the work of an Enderman. <sighs> Pesky Enderman. Um, so... There's a giant forest near my, <laughs> my starting outpost, and I am in need of wood. Lots of wood. Um, so now that the pond is all nice and calm and still <laughs> uh, and proper, you know, Um, I can clean up my inventory a little. As you can see, I'm making progress in the, uh, stock of wheat seeds, which I will need for the chickens. Um, I'm planning on starting a little, uh, chicken breeding pen. Uh, where I plan to get like a dozen chickens or something. Um, nothing too ludicrous because my phone uh, seems to be capable of handling quite a lot. And then all of a sudden it kind of doesn't. <laughs> um, so it's good until it's not good. And I don't really notice it, but I'm sure there's something that was supposed to be notifying me that I entirely did not see or something. Like I thought everything was fine, but my phone was probably sitting there going, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Um.
so let's see, we've got a pretty good supply of wheat. Um, you may have noticed I moved the campfire. I did do some work off camera, quite a lot actually, um, but I did do some work off camera to um, basically just gather resources and attempt to progress. Uh, keyword, attempt. I still have extremely low amounts of uh, iron ingot and extremely low amounts of gold ingot. Uh, that being said, I did find some gold. I think I all smelted and uh, put away currently because I don't want to be carrying it on me 24 hours a day. That would be silly. Um, and so, oops, wrong one. I should hurry up and skedaddle to the bed. What does I like to call it? The couch. <laughs> No idea why I always prefer sleeping on couches. It's just natural. So, as you can see, I have a few carrots, uh, <laughs> just, just a few <laughs> dozen <laughs> stacks of carrots, um, with a spare reserve. So I'm living off of carrots. <laughs> um, yeah. I've not even updated those maps on the wall yet, but it, it's... I suppose I can give it a view in the nighttime, see how it looks. Let's see. Yep. Let me... I need to deposit this bucket. Why am I still carrying the bucket? Oh my. There we go. Um, yeah, I'm good on that. Oh, I can craft two bales of hay. And I'm holding pumpkins. I should really keep track of what's in my inventory more. So yeah, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Um, I might not need to switch to, um to wheat, but I probably will want to. Uh, it kind of depends what I think will be more important. Um, I know I'm going to want a lot of pumpkins. Um, you know... I've been trying to gather enough uh, materials to build a nether portal. Oh, now I remember what I'm doing in here. I'm sleeping, but I don't want the chickens to get out. Um, so I found some chickens. 
and they're adorable and they keep giving me free 